Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to create a high dynamic range image uh, in Photoshop. Uh, for this method, we're not going to use any ATDR software uh, to, pr to produce or create the effect. With no further ado, let's get to it. So, the first step is to select all the four images, right click on it and then go to edit and open layers in Photoshop. So as you can see here, Photoshop has stacked all the layers together. In order for this to work, what we need to do is drag the darkest layer to the bottom and subsequently we need to drag all the darker ones in this order and ensure that our brightest layer stays on the top. So basically what we're going to do is extract uh, the highlight detail from the darkest image in place on the top layer. There you go. So I'm going to show you guys the before and then the after. So we're going to do this uh, to the next layer and then the brightest one. So basically what I've done here was I copied this layer, Ctrl D to deselect, I applied a mask and then held down the Alt key and clicked inside that mask and then paste the layer that we just copied. Ctrl D to deselect and then in order for this to work what we need to do is click on the layer mask and press Ctrl I to invert and then that's it. Basically what we are doing here is extracting the highlight detail from the previous image and place it on the top image. So I'm going to show you guys what happened here. So hold down the Alt key and click inside the layer mask. So where you see white is, is the part of the image that's being reviewed and the black is the part that is not being shown in the image. So I'm just going to invert this layer back again just to show you guys. So now it's just the inverse. The black is hiding and the white is revealing here. So let's do it again. So let's invert the, the layer. And there you go. There's a little bit of a bend in here, so I'm just going to brush it off. There you go. So now that we've created our high dynamic range image, it's very flat, so we're going to select the top layer, hold down the shift key, and click on the, the bottom layer. Now right click on it and then click convert to a uh, smart object. We're going to do this because uh, the image will be or the image will be kept inside the smart object. So in case if we need to go back there and retouch any of these images, we can do it so. Now what Photoshop is doing is placing all those images inside uh, a container, which is the smart object. So anything uh, so if we decide to go back there and make any changes, alteration, you know, uh, decrease the opacity of these masks, we can do so. So now that our smart object has been created, we're going to head to filter and come it along. Now um, we're going to retouch this image here since the image is very, very flat. Um, let me see. First thing I'm going to do is uh, add just a little bit of clarity. Just bring down some detail here in the shadows. Um, I'm going to decrease the highlights a little bit. I'm going to increase the white. I'm going to increase the vibrance. And I'm going to add a little bit of saturation. I'm going to go to sharpening. Mm, I don't want a lot of detail in the highlights, so uh, 75 will be okay. I'm going to apply a little bit of detail around 35. I'm going to decrease the radius to zero, and my sharpness will be around 50. Now I'm going to click OK. I'm 
going to apply um, curves adjustment. I'm going to press Ctrl Y. And then I'm going to paint some highlights uh, in this area here. I want this adjustment to be very, very subtle. I'm gonna paint here in these bright areas. Just to bring a little bit more depth. And then I'm gonna uh, lower the opacity to around 35%. Now I'm gonna hold down the uh, Command Alt Shift and press E. Now I'm going to apply a, a curve adjustment, hold down ALT and click it in AUTO. I'm going to choose one of these adjustments. I'm going to select all the areas here, now that I do not need them, I'm going to delete and then flat the image and then save. So guys, I'm gonna find my uh, middle exposure here. As you can see, that's the brightest. And then the one after, and after, and then this one. So, if we were to compare, let us see one, what the camera would meet it for. Probably my, my camera would have needed for this one here. If we press Ctrl C to compare. So here it gives you a sense of the before and after. Hi guys, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, and if you've got any questions, please leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, and that's it. It's pretty, pretty simple and straightforward. And I can, I can say, as far as I'm concerned, no one does it that way. I've seen a lot of videos uh, with lum luminosity mask, and there's a lot of complexity, layers after layers. And I just wanted to make it as simple as, as, as I could, you know, to you know for you guys to start producing a beautiful high dynamic range image. I'm going to show you some of the pictures I've taken and I apply the same method using uh, Photoshop.